It feels really healing to know that ultimately the people that did this to my family aren't getting away free. Six months after two teenage boys were shot and killed at a house party in Oakland, there's finally been arrests made in the case. Thank you for joining us here on Crown 4 News at 8. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Dan Thorne. Crown 4's Amanda Harry talk with the cousins of the victims about this news. Amanda, what was she telling you? After so many months of waiting, the Garcia family thought this day may never come. Now they're relieved to know two people have been arrested in connection to the teen's deaths. I'm still having a lot of trouble adjusting. It's been six months since Melanie Garcia Macias lost her cousins, 15-year-old Angel and 17-year-old J.C. Sotelo Garcia. Back on October 1st, 2022, the teens were killed during an unauthorized party at an Airbnb rental near Market Street in Oakland. Garcia Macias struggles to believe so much time has gone by without them. It feels surreal because it's been half a year which it feels like it was just yesterday. Um, so things have not been the same. Uh, but to be honest, I don't think they'll ever actually be the same. She says she started to worry an arrest would never happen. I felt really hopeless because there was already such a backlog of homicides in the area. But last week, nearly six months to the day, she found out the Oakland Police Department had arrested two people in connection to her cousin's homicides. Now, I have a picture of the boys and I have it hung up over my dining table. And when I found out, it was like, as soon as I had gotten home and I like was reading the newest article like out loud, like do them. Um, and I had like a whole little like conversation. And I remember just saying like, you're finally going to get your justice. Although she knows it'll be hard, Garcia Macias says she wants to attend whatever legal proceedings happen next. I would like to be present in the trial uh, to show solidarity and uniformity within our family. I think me being there is a very, very important step. And if, if, I, if I wasn't present, I would feel like I wasn't doing my part. The Oakland Police Department does expect to have another update on this case early this week. In the newsroom, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News. Amanda.